<laughs> we are looking at Dragon's Den and Sea Monster, page four of the Bastion Level One Technic book. These are the songs that go along with page eight of the Piano book. Um, we have here some sharps, quite a few sharps in this one. I'm going to go ahead and start off with a demo of each one, and then we're going to go back and talk about it. This is just so that if you want to come back and see it again um, before your lesson, you don't have to watch through all the mumbo jumbo um, to just double check on everything. We'll do Lion's Den or Dragon's Den first. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> to the bottom of the page. This is C Monster. And then it repeats, but there's no change the second time. Okay, let's go back up to Dragons and we we'll start with C um, in both hands. So that's going to be five in the left, one in the right. And we're only going up to, to C, D, E, F, and G. Um, but here we have some notes that are always sharp and never natural. So we have C natural, D natural, D sharp. We're gonna go ahead and use our third finger in both hands for the D sharp because we have no E's in this song. So C, D, E sharp, F sharp, and G. So these two sets of fingers, um, two and three in the left hand and three and four in the right hand, are gonna be on D sharp and F sharp. And the pattern, it seems like it's gonna go up and back down, but it goes up, and then when it goes back down, it stops on the D sharp and goes back up to the F sharp before going to the D and all the way back up. So here it is slowly, C, D, D sharp, F sharp, G, F sharp, D sharp, F sharp, D, D sharp, F sharp, G, and C. That was fun. Now, oh, by the way, that one is, um, does repeat. So first time forte, second time piano, and it's legato. On to C monster. C monster does um, starting to show us some things that you're not actually going to see that often. Um, it's just implied. You have the melody in the right hand and the accompaniment chord in the left hand, and it says, and it's just got notated forte for the melody and piano for the chord, and then on the second line it's reversed because the chord is on top, so it wants your right hand piano and your left hand forte. That's just so we can be, bring out the melody. And it's not gonna matter much in this one since, I mean, the chord is just la lasts for so long, but in our left hand in the beginning, we're just going to C and G. It's not really a chord, it's just an open fifth. In our right hand, we have um, the notes we're going to, our tone set is going to be C, D sharp, E, um, F sharp, and G. So we have no D natural in this one, and we have no F natural. So these two fingers are going to spend most of their time up here. So if I just look at the, this hand, I've got C, E, D sharp, E, G, E, D sharp, E, C, G, F sharp, G, E, G. And that goes along with this chord. You really don't have to think much at all for your left hand, just once you get it started. And release together. Then on the bottom, you've got E, F sharp, G, E, C, F sharp, G, E, C, F sharp, G, E, C. So you got a little bit more repetition there in the left hand. All right. Um, that's pretty much all there is to this one. Nothing too fancy. Have fun.